Hello and welcome to part two on this video series on how to negotiate a higher salary. In my previous video, we talked about the two instances when it makes the most sense to ask for a raise, and we even talked about when in a calendar year it is the most advantageous to bring it up in topic. In this video, we're gonna talk specifically about how to ask for a raise in the meeting. And these five steps will make you confident and give you a lot more capability to help that employer see the value in bumping your salary up significantly. So first of all, this goes without saying, you wanna make sure that whatever number you've come up with is been researched and you can talk about it confidently. You wanna be able to say, well, this is how I got to this number. If you can say that with confidence, you'll be a lot more prepared to have that meeting. But remember the meeting, the result is about a higher salary, but the path to get there is really the purpose of the meeting. The purpose of that conversation, whether it's in a review or whether it's a special meeting that you created, is to help create future success for both of you. Remember, the salary negotiation is just part of that discussion, but the overarching discussion that you'll win your employer over with is about serving them and helping them reach their goals so that they can serve you in helping you reach yours. And so with that mindset in mind, the first thing I want you to remember is to be confident. Before you even walk into the room, I want you to remember that what will win for you is going to win for the employer because when you're happier, you are gonna show up differently and do a totally different upgraded job than you could have done before. So being confident and knowing that what you're asking for is gonna serve both of you and isn't gonna be this big negative thing is an incredibly important step in the process. The second piece is for you to be future focused. So this is how I want you to begin the meeting. When you sit down with your employer and go, listen, thank you so much for sitting down with me if it's a review or whether or not it's a meeting that you called to talk about your future in the company. You just say, I love it here and I wanna see us both win long term. So the first thing I wanted to hear about from you is where do you see the company going? Where is it that you wanna take this particular business and, and really what are your dreams around that for you? Immediately you disarm them because going into this meeting, they're probably anticipating a big awkward discussion about money. So when you get them thinking about their dreams, hopes, and desires, the employer immediately is gonna start thinking a lot bigger picture, which is good for you. You want them seeing the big picture because you're gonna put you in that equation later on. And so for you to have asked them what they want long-term and have them paint that picture and very sincerely ask them, why do you want it to, to look that way? What is it about that that really matters to you? will help them and serve them in getting clear. So once you are future focused, the next step is for you to be committed to this win-win. So you can say, listen, here's my dream for me. And you talk about your future, which means that you have to get clear to some degree before that discussion on like what you want to create. Maybe you want to specialize in something or maybe you want to be able to open your own business one day or whatever that dream is. You want to be able to talk into that just a little bit and you wanna connect your dream to their dream. And you wanna be able to create it in a way to where the employer can see the future and you in it. And that's why the next step is so important. You want to be clear. In this point of the discussion, you wanna discuss compensation. And you wanna tell this person before you bring up anything about money, exactly how you've either been underpaid or how you are gonna create or have been creating additional value. And in that discussion, it's very normal to say, listen, I." take care of our clients better than anyone else for the following reasons. If that's true, and if you can spell that out and help them see that, it gives them that sense of scarcity of, wow, this person is very unique. And then you can say, listen, and I want you to know that what I'm looking at here today is a chance to create a long-term win-win. Because if a long-term win-win is clear for both of us, we're both gonna win more. And you can spell out specifically for me I'm gonna create additional value for you as I grow in the following ways. So when you're clear, you're clear on not just the value you create today, but the, the value you're going to keep creating as it aligns with that employer's vision and dream. So then is the time you bring up the money. And that's where you want to be firm. And you can bring this up however you want. You can say, listen, to be direct, I want a compensation change. Just like that, there's nothing wrong with being direct. As a matter of fact, Nothing destroys a negotiation more than what someone very weakly or overly emotionally, like, I don't feel like I'm getting paid enough. Like that kind of stuff just goes right out the window because it's not even about exchange at that point, it's about their feelings. 
But when someone's got me pumped up thinking about the future and they're able to explain to me specifically the value they create that goes above and beyond and the future value they're gonna create and then they say, I want a compensation change. Immediately I'm shocked, but I'm also a little bit excited because I have a leader in front of me who knows what they want and they're not afraid to get it. And so there's two numbers you wanna be clear on. You wanna have a clear number in your mind of a compensation change that would be your ideal number. The ideal number is the top of the range that you think is still a fair exchange between you and the company. Below that, you want your minimum win. That means if you get this win, you're still satisfied and happy and you know that you're getting in good exchange with the company. And you don't share that second number, you bring up that first number. You bring up that ideal win. Listen, I know that I'm worth this much because of these things and by compensating with me, you can count on one of the best employees doing these jobs and tasks. Like that kind of language inspires the employer. And, and so at that point, it's really important just to be relaxed and let them have some space to process and talk about it. Truly, most employers aren't gonna be in a position where they can answer that question right then if they didn't see it coming. If it was a review, they might have some information prepared. And so just give yourself some time to let them think about it. But remember to be firm because when you're firm, you're gonna be able to be confident and give them that space of like, yeah, he's really worth this or she's really worth this. And so what do you do when the employer comes back and doesn't give you that raise? If they give you that raise, celebration, I would love, I would expect that you would comment in this video and tell me all about it so that I can share that win with the rest of the people learning. But if your employer doesn't come back at that number, what do you do? Well, I'm gonna go over that in my next video. But either way, for this video, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.